Hey, it's the Frank Student here, and today we're going to be talking about mouse events, which is some kind of event using the mouse. So, first of all, I already have a working JavaFX inside uh, IntelliJ, and I'll also be using Scene Builder. And if you want to know anything more about any of this stuff, there'll be linked down in the description. But first of all, I'll just delete the predetermined size of the window. And I have already connected sample FXML to my sample FXML inside my JavaFX application. So, for example, the key to a good mouse event is simply I would mostly be using the button because that seems like most intuitively. So, using the button, we will find our mouse event. So, we would, for example, do on mouse clicked. We would, for example, I'll be using hide as an example. And I'll just be hiding some kind of text. And let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. So on button clicked, I will simply just hide some text. And I'll give the text a name, save, and find sample controller skeleton. Copy. And inside my controller, I would import. I would import the mouse event class and make sure to get the JavaFX.c in that input version. And now I can simply just do whatever I want whenever the button is clicked, because that's what I chose inside Scene Builder. So I would just simply do text.setVisible to false. So now when I click my button, the text will be set to false. But let's change it up a bit. So let's see what else we have for mouse events. So we could do on mouse entered instead, for example. So I will just move my hide method down to on mouse entered. Let's try saving it. So it's technically the same, still the same method. So I actually don't need to change anything in my controller. But now, as soon as the mouse just enters the button area, the text disappears. We can do it with something else. We could change it to, and of course it's similar when, in, when on mouse entered, on mouse exited, on mouse moved. So it's kind of when you're moving the mouse inside. So I'll just do another example on mouse release. Again, save. So now, instead of having it when I click, I'm still clicking, it's when I release. So this is the basics of the mouse event. Based on Scene Builder, it's very easy for us to actually just change which kind of mouse event, and it's actually the same setup, just having some kind of mouse event call, and then execute some kind of code block. That's the basics of the mouse event. Hope you liked what I had to share today. Like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.